everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Jada Bailey, the Mindful Maid. So in my last video, I talked about starting something of a new series where I pick one of my many spell books and then at random pick a spell from out of that book to do on video with you guys. Um, and it's, I'm gonna aim for like a no frills kind of thing. Nothing you have to go like shopping for, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to work with whatever I have on hand and if I do need to go out and grab something it'll be from like your local grocery or Walmart. Alright so today's spell book is going to be this one. Daily spell book for the good witch. This was gifted to me. Uh, honestly I can't remember by who. I'm very sorry. It's just because my head is all over the place not because i don't love you if you are watching this and you are in fact the one that gave me this book thank you <laughs> all right so we're gonna flip through flip through flippy through okay and here we are on this one it's dated for March 11th because every page in this book is dated like for a day of the year. So there's a spell for each day of the year. Um, and March 11th is in a few days, so we can do it here. Um, and if you guys decide that you wanna do it at home yourself on March 11th, awesome, let's do it. All right, so you will need one purple candle Dirt gathered from three different crossroad intersections. Definitely gonna have to go out for that one. And a red drawstring bag, which I also don't think I have, but we'll find something, we'll make do. In classical mythology, Heracles was the hero who overcame obstacles and challenges as part of his life journey. He was honored with a festival on March 11th. If you've been facing some trials in your own life, this is a great day to do magic that will help you get past those hurdles. In some folk magic traditions, dirt gathered from a crossroads is used to unblock things that might be getting in your way. And you can use a purple candle to represent personal power. I don't have a personal, I don't have a purple candle, so I'm going to use a white candle because it'll sub for any color and color magic and candle magic. Fun fact. All right, so as mentioned, we will need three things. One candle, dirt from three completely different crossroad intersections, and a red drawstring bag. Now, as you can see, I don't have a purple candle, so I'm gonna go with white. And I don't have a red drawstring bag, so I'm gonna go with this cream one. Um, yeah. Now, the purple candle is supposed to represent like personal power, but the fun thing about white is it can take on any correspondence. So this is gonna be our red drawstring bag and our purple candle today. It's always good to like meditate, cleanse your items, and cleanse your space, which I've already done off camera. Wish I had recorded that. Oh well. Um, but to start with, you are going to light your candle. And once your candle is lit, we're going to look into the flame and think about a specific obstacle or the specific obstacle that you need to overcome. To be honest, I didn't really feel like driving all over the city looking for three different crossroad intersections, so I just found three in my neighborhood. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna dump each of those three in my drawstring bag. Once you have all the dirt in your drawstring bag, just wanna pull it tight and give it a tie so nothing spills out and a little shake to mix it all together. Now, I'm going to hold mine above the candle and move it around a bit. Obviously not close enough for it to catch or burn. Please don't do that. And as I do that, I'm gonna say, 
I am successful and I am strong. My fears do not define me. Obstacles do not stop me. Challenges do not frighten me. I am successful and I am strong. And I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. You'll just carry this bag around with you, either in your pocket or purse or book bag. And just take it out in with you into the world for a boost of confidence and a little magic spell bag to overcome challenges. Alrighty, uh, that's gonna be it for me for this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to drop those in the comment section below. And if there's any videos or content you would like me to create and upload for you, please, please let me know. I'm more than happy to do so. Love and light to you all. Um, and I will be seeing you next week. Bye.